I'm the oldest of three boys, three boys in my family. Now, being the oldest means a few things. One, it means that you get to test the waters in every area of life to see how far you can go before you get into trouble with mom and dad. It also means that you're the kid with whom mom and dad is the most strict with. But there are a few good things that come along with being the oldest as well, like getting to be the first to drive or being able to stay up the latest to watch your favorite movie. Now, being the oldest growing up in my family also meant that I went before my younger siblings in school. I can't tell you how many times that I had drilled into my head that I was setting the tone for when my brothers went to school, elementary school, middle school, high school. Everything that I did, everything that I said would reflect on how the teachers would look at my brothers when they got to school. If I acted a fool, then my two younger brothers would automatically be labeled as a fool as they stepped foot into the place that I had just walked. And so I walked through life ahead of my brothers, doing my best to prepare the path they were to walk in each of their schools. Another time when I went out ahead is when we were in the Grand Canyon. I would walk ahead of my kids as we had hiked and climbed through the mountains, taking their hand as they took their next step. Were they scared? Sure they were scared. Were they nervous? Yeah, there were times that they were nervous. Absolutely. But their dad went out ahead of them to help them deal with and overcome their fears and to let them know that what is unknown to them was known to me. This idea that someone has gone before us is a powerful one. And Jesus knew this. Check this out. Matthew 28 verse 7 says this. He has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Can you imagine what the disciples were thinking and feeling? Their rabbi had just been killed on a cross between two thieves. The Messiah Jesus had just been murdered, not for any crime that he had committed, no. A riotous crowd filled with anger had called for Jesus to be put to death. Were they scared? Were the disciples nervous? Two women who went to see the tomb of Jesus are now telling the disciples that Jesus isn't there and that an angel said that Jesus is going ahead of them to Galilee. You see, this isn't the first time that they had heard that Jesus was going to go ahead of them into Galilee. On the night that Jesus was arrested, he told his disciples that he was going to go ahead of them into Galilee after he had risen from the dead. That's in Matthew chapter 26. Were the disciples worried about what would be waiting for them in Galilee? Jesus' trial was brutal. People screaming. They came and arrested him for no reason. The people were angry and out for blood. There were so many unknowns that they were walking into, but Jesus promised that he would go ahead of them into Galilee, into the unknown. And that's what Galilee stands for to me. This idea that someone has gone before us. What are you facing right now? Maybe you have children that are struggling academically socially or with depression because of the separation that they find themselves in from their friends and other kids. Maybe you were just laid off from work and you don't know how you're going to pay your bills this month. Or maybe the marriage that you once thought could last anything is now on its last leg and you don't know if it can be repaired. Or maybe you're waiting for the test results from a biopsy or scan and you're left wondering what you're walking into. This idea that someone has gone before us is a powerful one. And it's been a promise of God that he has fulfilled time and time again. Deuteronomy 31.8 says, The Lord himself goes before you, and he will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. I don't know what your Galilee is, but I do know this. Jesus has gone ahead of you there. You see, it's not that God doesn't give us anything that we can't handle, no. It's that when we call on the name of Jesus, we can be assured that he has gone before us into our Galilee and has promised to be our strength as we walk into our Galilee together. Isaiah chapter 43 verses 1 through 3 says this, Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. 
When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. This idea that someone has gone before us is a powerful one. And it's not just an idea. It's Jesus. And it's the promise of God that he has made and kept time and time again.